Have you ever wondered how they produce those really cool glossy backgrounds with the highlights shimmering and draping over the top edge of those gradient designs? Well, wonder no more, because I am here to show you just exactly how that effect is accomplished in my new tutorial entitled, How to Create a Glossy Background in Photoshop. First of all, you will need to have Photoshop open. Then go to the top menu, File, New, and create a new Photoshop document. We can name this file Glossy Background. For my file, I have the width 210 pixels by 140 pixels. Now we can click OK to close out of that dialog box. Go to the gradient tool or type G on the keyboard and that's your shortcut key for this tool here. You can either choose two colors of your own from the color swatch or if you want the same colors as mine they are. Top color is pound 564C4 and the bottom color is pound 2C1B64 or you could also choose your colors after going into the gradient color swatch at the top of the page. Set your gradient type to radial that's the second icon right here and then double click on this swatch right here to go into the gradient. Your preset is the very first one foreground to background and then you can change your color by clicking on these color stops at the bottom. They look like little houses so let's go into them. In order to make a smooth gradient for your top color you want to click up here and then for the bottom color you want to drag directly straight down and select a color directly underneath of the top color and that makes the gradient a lot more smoother. I've already chosen my colors so I'm just going to click OK and come out of that box and then you can click OK again right here. Now we're going to draw the gradient. Use your shift key and draw directly straight down just like this. and there's your gradient. Next we want to create a new layer. You can create a new layer by hitting shift, control, and the letter N on the keyboard or you can go down here to the layers icon and create a new layer from here. Let's name this layer gloss. Okay, make sure that that layer is selected and then come over here to the pen tool. After selecting the pen tool come up here and make sure that you are in the second icon right here, the pass icon, before starting to draw with the pen tool. We're going to start making the glossy highlight on the top with the pen tool. Okay, if you don't like your line right here, what you can do is come over here to the direct select tool or hit the letter A on your keyboard for the shortcut. Select the path and then just start moving these anchor points around. Just like that. After creating the shape for the gloss, right click on the path, make a selection. Okay, now you have a selection for your gloss. We want to fill the selection with the color white. Go to the top menu, edit, fill, and use the color white. Click OK to close out. Okay, now you filled that with white. If you accidentally let go of the oval selection, you can control click right here on the thumbnail and reselect it just like that. Now making sure that your gloss layer is selected, go to the top menu, select, modify, and contract. The number we want to use here is 1. Click OK. Again, making sure that your gloss layer is selected, go to the top menu, select, and inverse. Then hit the delete key. 
on your keyboard. Now we want to go to the color swatches over here and change to the default colors, black and white. We want the white color on top. So hit this little arrow here and that switches them. Select the gradient tool or hit the G key on your keyboard. This time we want to set the type up here to reflect. That's the second to the last icon. Now go over here to the gradient display and double click on it to open this box here. This time from the presets we want to select the second one, foreground to transparent. Close out of the dialog box. Make sure that you are on your gloss layer. Con control click on the thumbnail to make sure that your gloss portion of the image is selected just like that. Now we're going to hit the delete key because we are going to be using a gradient instead of the white color. Okay, just like that. Make sure that your empty portion is still selected on the image. Grab the gradient tool again or hit the G key and drag the gradient tool from the top to about midway down. You can hold down shift to make sure that it's straight if you want just about like that. Make sure that the gloss part is selected again and also your gloss layer at the same time and now you want to turn down this opacity. Turn it down quite a bit. I did about 25. Deselect your layer. Control D on your keyboard or deselect from the menu at the top and there's your glossy layer. This is Stars and Dust signing off until next time. Thank you.